All right, here we go, first flight. I hope. Are we not connected? Okay, well. Another update. So I have no idea if I'm connected to the actual remote or not, so I'm gonna have to restart the app. Ugh, my again, this All right, first flight, take two. so cold out here. That's why I like this thing, because it can actually go straight into your pocket. It reminds me of my DJI Osmo pocket, but can fly. 2.7K, full HD, 60 frames per second. I'm missing specs. I'm not reading specs. It's too cold out here to read specs. Ah, it's freaking cold. One thing I'm really glad that they did with the DJI Mavic Mini was have the ability to... Are you not tracking? <laughs> One thing I'm really glad they did with the DJI Mavic Mini was allow you to hardwire to your phone rather than use your wireless because it's faster to start up and it's a little bit more consistent than the Spark was in that manner. And I'm glad it has a 31 minute flight time. It's really cold today. so. I flew it for about, I would say about a half hour on that first battery, and it's about 34 degrees out, and the Mini really performed well. Of course, I have it on all auto settings right now. I don't have any ND filters for it yet, so I'm not going to get into an unboxing of this because there's millions of other videos. Rather, this is just an average person look at the device. Full HD, 60 frames per second, 2.7K at 30 frames per second. 249 grams, which means you can bypass the FAA or whatever laws you have in your country. What are you doing? There's so many drug dealers out at this very park. Why can't there be a park with normal freaking people? What happened to just playing in a park like a normal person for <laughs> sake? Whatever, dude. I'm getting out of here. We'll just do this at my house, dude. I'm so sick of freaking drug dealers around my neighborhood. God, dude, this is stupid. All right. We made it home. I shaved my beard and crustache. It's warm and we are away from the crackheads for the most part. We're gonna try to get this done in one take with no jump cuts and keep it as frothy as possible with information starting now. 
forgot what I was going to say, of course. We will edit that part out. <clears throat> I at first didn't think the Mini was going to be as mini as it was until I actually held it and compared the weights to the Spark. Here's the Spark. Here's the Mini. Now, when fully, what do you say, erect, when it fully erected, this is a little bit bigger than the Spark. However, when this thing is folded up, it's about the size of a not spark. It's smaller. That's all I'm getting at. It's incredibly light when you hold it. With that body, you still get that 31 minutes fly time, whereas the spark, it's 16 minutes. And I think that is a game changer. Obviously, the size is killer, too. Being able to fold it up, you save a little bit more space in your gear bag. Not only that, is when you compare it to the controller of the Spark. Here's the two. Am I still in focus? Okay. The Spark and the Mini controller look a lot alike. However, the Mini you can skim down by taking the joysticks and they star away in here. When you need them. Look at that. Okay, that's lost for good. Just like locker room talk, let's compare sizes. All right, so here we got the Spark. We got the Mini, and we got your average everyday consumer drone. Chroma Blade 4K, amazing drone. It's just too big to take everywhere. What are you focusing on? Are you kidding me? What are you trying to focus on? Whatever, I can't even freaking focus. Okay. <laughs> now I lost my train of thought, so... Alright. Can't lose focus. Where are the drones at? All right, comparing sizes. <laughs> because if I look away, you're gonna lose focus. <laughs> Got him. All right, look. The two most functional drones for their size on the market right now. Here's the Mini, and here's the Spark. 249 grams and it folds up. I think this is 351 grams. We'll put that in the description. Save a lot of space in your bag. Compare the two to the size of a standard drone. So this is run about the size of a Phantom. This is the Chroma Blade 4K. My main drone, but we just can't take this everywhere. So it's not as fun to use in my opinion as this little bugger. Closing thoughts. For me, 30 minutes of flight time was actually more important than I thought it would be, especially in this cold Minnesota climate. Ease of use is fantastic, and I'm really glad they went with a hardwire option for connecting your controller to your phone rather than using wireless like the Spark did, because I never figured out how to pair my aftermarket controller with my used Spark. <sighs> Size is great. I'm going to keep this in my photo bag at all times. Yeah. That's about it. Thank you.